Then this is unfinished swan. Well, I don't want to play an unfinished game, Dash. <laughs> it's a game by Giant Sparrow, and it was a huge part of the prototype I uh, I did the other year with the painting on the walls. I have a question. What? Is this actually a game? Yes, it is actually a game. Okay. Well, I guess where do you define like? What do you mean? Is this not? Is it a walking simulator? Is Portal a walking simulator? No, because it's like a puzzle game. Okay, then it's a puzzle game. <laughs> okay. I'd say it's a little. It's it's a bit on the walking simulator side of things, but there are there is gameplay. But I I want it. Ew, that one sucks. Yeah, these, Just these throw it in the trash. These, no, no, I'm gonna make you eat it. No, if, don't put it mm -hmm. back in there. Too late. Are you actually just gonna eat the pits? I already did. Okay. Accidentally. Well, there. You, I'll set the spit bowl there. Yeah, that one's a little gross. Well, I didn't make the trash can. <laughs> Wedge between the trash can and the the leg. Welcome to Cool Cherry, guys. Am I going now? Dash, it's broken. Dash, it's broken. Oh, I gooed everywhere. It wasn't broken, Zane. You're in an all white room. It's all white. You know what they say. It's an all white room. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they say. <laughs> Alright, where's the door? Got to ink everywhere, Zane. Come on, you're the Mexican Wolverine. <laughs> That's a pretty dated, dated, dated reference. reference. <laughs> yeah. This is unfinished swan, Zane. Well, let's finish it. This game fucking rules. Dash, I'm not a video game coder guy like you are, so I can't finish it. Well, we're going to finish it, Zane, you and me, uh, together. And by together, I mean this is a one-off. Probably. Unless you're going to do something out and do it, and you're like, oh shit, I really want to see where this is going. Because it's not super long. I doubt that. Not the super long, the, uh, me wanting to continue. Branching pathways? What is this? Am I, like, blind or something? No. It's the world just... Yeah, you're an octopus. Fucked up. Splatoon well, fucking ripped off this you shit. You didn't tell me we were playing Octodad. <laughs> I'd play Octodad on here. Wait, did I just go in a circle? Yeah, I got turned around. I don't know, when Hunter and I played Octodad, we were having fun at the first, but then we just kept getting pissed off at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Good, that's the exact kind of content I'm wanting. The hills are alive. With the, the sound of ink. Splatterings of ink. Like, I think this game is cool as fuck. I played through it with uh, Ryan, Ryan once. Yeah. Um, well, Footy Prince. And I just remember, like, we had the all white room, and, like, the when I finally fucking hit the trigger, or whatever the launch pain button was, we just kind of had that, like, oh, fuck moment. No, I want to cover him. Can't cover him. Oh, there we go. I was wondering why there was. Can you just hold it? No, but if you just tap it really quickly. I could have sworn there's like an auto fire button on. Well, maybe. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, yeah, I guess since I was still in the all white room, I didn't realize you could jump. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Blackfish. Uh -huh. Ink that fish. Big old froggy. I'm gonna get him. Get, get back here! Get back here, you son of a bitch! Oh, God! <laughs> Got eaten. You killed that frog, Zane. Good. Um, these guys also did a walking simulator that came out recently called What Remains of Edith Finch. That was really, really good. It's about a family that all oh. dies in really weird and mysterious ways. Like getting murdered in a barn. <laughs> nah, not quite. <laughs> Or like turning into a fucking tentacle. Oh well, whatever. You don't care. I'm getting murdered in a park. 
I really like this game. I think this is such a cool mechanic. And this was like the main like kind of idea behind that rail shooter with the paint. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you. Like the only game of yours I played was uh, Super Iron Lady. That's that's not one of the better ones <laughs> I've done. Well, it's that, it's the only threshold I have on. That was before I migrated games. to doing everything in Unity. So you you should really play some of the more recent stuff. Nah. Like like the rail shooter about painting. Well, I'm stuck. You can do it, Zane. I believe in you. Nope, I'm stuck. The guard told me I can't go that way, so I can't go that way. Wait, what? In a... Oh, fuck. What was it? The... the Pathe Dishonored. The playtesters, they... Uh, they were, like, going up into... The top... The target was on the top story. Oh, yeah. The top floor. And there was a big party going on. Yeah, and, and this is like the first level, right? Yeah, when you go to the stairs, there's a guard that's like, hey, you can't go up there. Oh. So then the playtesters were like, well, the guy said I couldn't go up there, so I can't go up there. It's like, you are an assassin in a video game. You can go up there. Yeah. Is there something I missed? I mean, this is the correct way. If oh, that, okay. Like, I'm pretty sure I can see what you're not doing. This is just a section I didn't... Yeah. I'll just... Just ink. Ink the whole world in a bottle. Boop, 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 boop. Because I... Oh, maybe there was something over here I missed. I thought I got everything, but there's probably... No? Oh, wait. Oh! Zane found it! <laughs> Zane's found it! Zane's a smart boy! Zane's just figuring shit out. Zane's a smarty boy. He's a smarty pants. Don't you fucking call me a smarty pants. Um, another really cool thing is in What Remains of Edith Finch, one of the people who dies is the person who, like, made this world. And that was a kind of neat throwback. That's cool. I know you're not big on walking simulators, but... Oh, I didn't even see that. But if you had to play a walking simulator, that's a pretty good one. I would recommend it. It does. It has some really cool moments in it. I'm sorry, I like to play video games. No, you don't. <laughs> we both, you like to buy video games. <laughs> and say I'll play them one day. And then Dash brings over his Raspberry Pi with all of the old games on it, and Zane cries a little bit. Not really. Yes, you cry. I, You're sad. I cry in the sense of my authenticity. <laughs> but Easier to record though, Zane. But it's not as cool. Yeah, it is. It's no, just it as cool. isn't. It's just as cool. It's not as cool. It's just as cool. Fucking emulators. Look, look we still, aren't as cool. We it's the real deal. Still don't have a really good way to to do original Xbox and GameCube and PS2 or PS1. Actually, we can do PS1 and a PS3, so that's yeah. fine. So PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. Don't worry, you're still useful for that. Your authenticity is useful for that, but if we're playing Beavis and Butthead. We're playing it on Super Nintendo. Fuck Nintendo. you. We're gonna play Beavis and Butthead. Like I don't even know why I'm acting like that's not gonna happen. There we go. Just wanted to ink the stairs. <laughs> You'll never ink it all, Zane. Watch me. Watch me. <laughs> He's gone mad. Somebody stop him. I've got the ink lust. <laughs> Fuck out of my way. <laughs> Fuck you. Like, I want this game, but with, like, E1, E1, M1 or something. I think this would be okay if I had, like, an auto shooter. I swear to God, there's an auto button. Like, a oh, no. I'm just doing that over and over again. I swear, man, I, maybe it's something you unlock? Maybe. Because this does actually have some unlockable stuff. Because, I mean, this is, is making it go fast, the but I don't... Of God. I don't like to press it all the time. It's partially another reason I got tired of Assassin's Creed. Not because it came out... Partially because it came out every fucking year, and it's like, alright, I'm kind of tired of I the I mean, gameplay. I would also say they started just getting really bad. But, uh... There have been way more bad Assassin's Creeds than there have been good Assassin's Creeds. I don't know, just holding down the trigger for 
like hours on end to play just hurts my fingers after a while. Your fingies? Yeah. Little baby, little baby nubbles. And you want to play rhythm games? Hey, rhythm games are different. That doesn't hurt me, thingy. All right, I think I've. <laughs> I'm done here. Wish there was a, a f walk faster button. No, it's not everybody's gone to the rapture. <clears throat> it's another sick walking simulator joke. Ryan will get it, and he'll appreciate it. No, he won't. Oof, maybe. Yeah, don't want to make it all black. You can't see anything. You have the same problem as being all white. That's why there's no auto. It's because it doesn't want you to ink everything. <laughs> Only you can play a walking simulator wrong. Oh, hey, cool. It's doing that. Hmm? It's doing that thing. What? Oh, nothing. Ryan, you're, since, if you're watching this, which I really hope you will because you like this game also, um, it's doing that thing right now. What thing? No, I'm not telling you. Because I, I can't trust you with that information. What? I Now I'm curious. Is it? Are you yeah. going to explain no, this to I'm me No, I'm not going to I'm explain done? it to you. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Just nothing. I'm not playing until you tell me. Well, fuck you then. What are you, the fuck are you talking about? I'm not telling you. You fucking tell me after this. Fine. I mean, it doesn't matter. Everyone... I'm just gonna tell everyone anyway. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell everyone. I, everyone who cares about this game. I, I I get sick when I watch people play walking simulators. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Like when Ryan and I did, were playing the Stanley Parable for the first time, um, he would go on there and he would spin around and do a bunch of shit like that, and just kind of like do jerky looks everywhere. And I had to so go. You to get the like motion sickness. I guess. Like I'd go to the bathroom and vomit multiple times when we were playing that. That's... And I and I didn't want to tell him because I didn't want to ruin the game for him or have him stop playing. That's really weird. Yeah. I also, it's like, it does it with a lot of games with view bobbing also. Why um, did you want me to play this? Well, I, I... This oh, game's the like, duck! Oh, that's a chicken! <laughs> Fuck you! I thought you were a duck! It's the golden goose. No, it's a black duck. <laughs> it's not even a duck. <laughs> it's the ugly duck, like... Uh, this game's I, shit. I, I thought I was following a duck. I wanted you to play it. This game's cool. Um... But yeah, like, there are a lot of walking simulators that I can't play because of the view. Or even, like, I have to turn the view bobbing off, like, in Minecraft and shit like that. Otherwise, I will get sick playing it. I don't know. View bobbing is just annoying anyway. But it's just, like, something about, like, watching someone else play one of these kind of first-person games but not, like, being in control myself. Like, I think it gives me that, like, I, I don't know, just, like, something about it's weird. Because it's, like, I don't get sick when I'm playing them myself. Like, I, I have a feeling that if I ever did VR, I would be very, very bad for it. I used to sometimes feel kind of nauseous playing my Game Boy or reading in the car. Oh, that I can actually explain that. I know the science behind that one. Do it. Um, so basically, um, because this is a problem with like VR and stuff like that, it's, it's essentially the same problem. Where what it is, er, is like behind your inner ear there's some fucking liquid in there. Uh-huh. And that is kind of just like, it, it's there to help your body and shit. So when you're in a car and you're like looking out the window, um, you, your body, like you can tell, you can see that you're moving. But if you like look away from something when you're like reading or like you're not looking out the window, you're kind of just like looking at something else, your body feels like it's moving. Oh, okay. But you're not. But doesn't, your brain doesn't think it's moving. So it thinks you're poisoned. Oh. And it makes you want to vomit up the poison. And the VR problem is the opposite problem where it's like, you think you're moving, but your body isn't moving, so you it, your body wants you to vomit, so you will get the poison out of your body. Man, brains are fucked up things. Yeah, I know. But hey, there, there's a fun fact. I actually know the answer to that well, one. Oh, cool. <laughs> why isn't there a ceiling here? That's why people get sick in cars and other things. It's because basically your your brain and your like the water inside your ear telling you that you're moving aren't you got lining a fucked up, up brain. And yeah. It's... It's telling you to do fucked up things. And if you can figure out how to solve that in VR, you'll get a million billion dollars. But no one will still play VR. I don't know. I'd, I want to play Thumper in VR. Like, VR, it's just... I don't care. I think that once the headsets get cheaper, it'll be pretty neat. It's too expensive. It's all just really gimmicky. 
Like, I, like, it, I guess that's the thing, is it's like, it is a minor benefit. Like, I would love to play Gran Turismo with a VR headset. Like, that seems cool, but I don't want to pay $400 to pay, play Gran Turismo with a VR headset. Or, it's just... Keep Talking Nobody Explodes would be cool with a VR headset. Like, yeah, you know, but... Again, not be... $400 cool. Fuck up that balloon. I think that's how you maybe get the auto fire. Yeah, fucked up that. Oh, that's cool hippo though. That's not. It's a king hippo. It's not because I've destroyed it. I'd, I'd like to play super hot VR. Like I think that would be fun. There's just no like, there's no killer yeah, app no for killer it. Yeah, no killer app for it. It's. It 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 seems like the Wii 2.0. Yeah, I think I could jive with that to a certain extent. Where, like, I, Except, I'd give it a try if someone else had it, but I would not want to go and buy it myself. <laughs> and, like, let alone the fact that there's, you know, three different major ones. Like, between the Vive and the Oculus and certain stuff only works on certain ones. Yeah, that's really stupid. Like, I, I think that they cannot be doing dumb shit like that this early in its life. Yeah, like, they're doing console war bullshit, but there's nothing worth being out for any of them anyway. Yeah. And then it's like some of, like, you know, <clears throat> like, Vibe's trying to do the room scale stuff, like, walking around. And and again, they haven't solved, like, that motion sickness problem yet. Like, that is still a thing that happens to people. See, they just gotta give you a treadmill. A room-sized treadmill. Yeah, Melanie's got Melanie it right. knows what she's doing. She's a genius. You're calling her a fool, but she knows She knows what's up. I mean, you're already shelling out all that money anyway. Might as well go for a full room treadmill. <laughs> How do I access the toy box? Uh, start? Maybe? Touchpad? Ah, uh, toys, yeah. Oh, I guess that makes sense. I thought it was like something I'd had to do. Hose, maybe. That might be it. Yeah. Okay. But I only have one. Oh, you can buy that. Oh, it unlocks after... Wait, all the balloons are found? What? So you have to... You have to buy all of the... Wait. Maybe it means... Like, all of the balloons... For... Well, no, because it only costed one. Maybe it means, like, when you beat the game and it's just wording it very badly... You dumb idiot. <gasps> There's that fucking duck! I'm gonna get him! Get back here, you son of a bitch! <laughs> You're mine! Then it's, it's not a duck. <laughs> what is it? If it quacks like a duck and it has footprints like a duck, it's a fucking duck. You know what I think I know what I'm gonna name this episode? <laughs> I think Unfinished Duck is a good <laughs> good episode title. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure if I missed anything. Like, I think this would be neat to play in VR, I guess, but... I forgot I could jump again. I don't want to pay 400 fucking dollars to play this in VR. I mean, no, that 400 dollars, what am I talking about? Six or seven hundred dollars? Is it only on PSVR? No, I mean, I, I don't even think this has a VR mode. I was just like, that's the would be the PC price. Mm. Which I imagine if they were going to do it, that is what it would be on. Our paint blots will blot out the blot. You made a you made a big oh. mess. Now that you got to chapter two, try to buy that toy again. Maybe it'll work. Oh, you fucked up. Uh -huh. Ah, ah! <laughs> Breaking your shit. Wait. This wasn't. What's going on? What's going on, Zane? Am what's I just like in a fucking? Infinite loop room? What's going on, Zane? What? MC Escher, that's his name. <laughs> MC Hammer. You're in a hammer room. No! I'm not even wearing my pants! <laughs> my hammer pants. 
wants me to kill myself. Nevers. Okay. That's kind of a kind of weird that they Dasha broke it. Actually, what did you do? I think you might have actually killed yourself. Did I die? How did I die? <laughs> Maybe that's just like their thing of like you went somewhere you weren't supposed to go. That's that's weird. Huh. Yeah, I've never seen that. <laughs> Congratulations. I broke the game. You're breaking games that are really not meant to be broken. Yeah, I'm saying there are a lot of really bad cherries in here. Well. I know I'm your guest and all, but I'm gonna come in and insult your cherries. Fuck you. <laughs> My cherries are great. Are they not? They're better than no cherries at all, though. Oh, yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> I mean, I was just doing that on purpose. Good content. Tr tricked ya! <laughs> Premium content. You guys were all like, Zane, why don't you just try the other side of the bridge? And I was like, I'm going to do that. You got a sick mustache. You should go to the doctor. <laughs> Zane, please. <laughs> His mustache checked out. I'm going to get myself all gooey. It's hanging in my uh, mouth. <laughs> one of these days I'll watch... Uh, 22 Jump Street. 22nd is Jump Street. It's 22 Jump Street. When's that Men in Black crossover coming out? Never ever. <laughs> Which, I actually... I actually enjoyed the first one. Men I watched it... Uh, no, 22 Jump... Yeah, no, no, 21 Jump Street. Yeah, those, are, yeah, those Street. are good movies. Like... It's... It's Lord Miller doing them. Well, yeah, yeah. It's I like, didn't, they, they have never made a bad thing. I wasn't hot on... Cloudy with a chance too. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I liked the first one a lot better. I like the children's book. I would read it a lot when I was a kid. Good going, you idiot. I did that one on purpose. Because <laughs> I realized I didn't jump in the water last time, so might as well see what happens. That was an that accident. That was an accident. <laughs> Look, there's a sword. Oh, hey. Maybe if I throw enough at it. <laughs> I'll just flood it with ink. You don't even need to see anymore. Yeah. You're complaining about hitting buttons too much, and now you're just hitting them freely. I got it. Everything has shades, and I don't really have to worry about it now. But you're still doing it! Yeah. So what are you complaining about? I'm not complaining anymore. They can't just give you the hose, can't blow their hose load too early. Oh no, it's gonna be too big. Are you, oh no. Is that the same? What? Yeah, it's too big. What are you gonna write? Hi. <laughs> you doing your best, Joel McHale? Here. Shut up. <laughs> that wasn't even a good joke then. Yeah, but he's that didn't stop him from telling it. <laughs> Fuck your shit. <laughs> well, it's really great. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, I like that hippo. Bloop. Hey, that looked important. Uh, well. <laughs> it's too late now. It's going fucking up another man's art. No, I'm making it even more art. So get that balloon. Tiny balloon. Look, you are here. Is that me? Is that me? I don't, I don't think that's a you are here. But it's got a little arrow on it. I don't think it's an arrow. Poop. Now it's gone. <laughs> Destroyer of worlds. 
All those people. All those mouths with ink in them. All those people. All those hamboikas. Okay, this was the spot I wanted to get to to end it. Look at that fucking duck. There it is. You just yeah. want, you just wanted me to see that it was a goose. No, I wanted to see just this. I, I like this oh, the shot, with the big maze and the castle. Am I gonna so, yeah. find a minotaur? Uh, yeah, it's an Incatar. Really? No. Oh. So yeah, that's uh, that's the entrance you me, swan. You got me legitimately excited. Oh well, that's not that's not what I aim to do. But that's been kill myself. that's been the unfinished swan, guys. People should play this game. Just like this game title, the playthrough itself will be unfinished. <laughs>